Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're reacting to my queen, my goddess, my end all be all, the one, the only Kelly Clarkson, and some more of her Kelly Oki segments. It's been a couple weeks since I did a Kelly Oki segment reaction video, and I've got quite a number lined up, so I'm probably going to have to do two or three of these videos, um, which, you know, it's never a complaint for me because I thoroughly enjoy them. Um, but we're going to start off with a song that once I saw this posted, I was super excited because I adore the song. And I feel like it's such an underrated um, song. It is White Flag by Dido. And yeah, we're just going to dive on in and see what McQueen does with it. Okay, we're making it a ballad. I love it already. Stunning, stunning, stunning. <sighs> I mean, it's a little early for me to call it, but I think this might be my favorite of this reaction set. Like, when I added this to my playlist, I wasn't expecting to get this. Like, I was expecting to get very much just, like, you know, a good cover of the original song. You know, keeping it instrumentally very close to the original song and just... That's what I was expecting. I was expecting to get a good cover of uh, an underrated, you know, Dido song. But what she just gave me was a Kelly Clarkson masterpiece. It's one of those times where she took a song and she stripped it to its bare bones and she just gave you lyrics. She gave you story. She gave you emotion. And like everything she did felt so easy. It felt so effortless. It felt so natural. Every time she flipped up into her head voice, it just felt like a natural progression in her story. Every time she belted, it just felt like a natural extension of the note that she was already on. Like everything just felt so natural and it was just beautiful, beautiful perfection. And then looking at her bass when she's singing, like now, at one point, did she seem like she was straining? Did it seem like she was pushing? Didn't seem like she was trying at all. It just seemed like she was just standing there and all these amazing, mind-blowing vocals were just falling out of her mouth and she's just chilling. And I'm like, rude, rude and disrespectful to me. I feel disrespected in my home. Um, but yeah, just stunning, stunning, stunning head voice, stunning belt, stunning, gorgeous, just emotive vocals and just, all those soft, quiet, little intimate moments during the verse, just mm, like that, that was just storytelling, storytelling 
at its finest just gorgeous 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 i like i don't know where she is emotionally right now I, like obviously we know she's she's got whatever going on with her divorce and whatnot but i don't know what emotional state she's in right now so i don't know if she was channeling something from her personal life to give us this performance to give us these vocals but it was so stunning to listen to absolutely just breathtaking yeah it's gonna be hard for anything to compete with this um but we're gonna see we're gonna see if people can see if the other performances can live up to it so this one was i believe was sent to me by tiffany on facebook and she said that kelly slayed the hell out of another one and i need to react to it so i was like okay well i guess i'm gonna be doing a karaoke segment soon and it is kelly clarkson covering george Straits. you look so good in love i don't think i know this song but i'm gonna find out I will always want you, Kelly. Always. Okay, another beautiful, beautiful performance. Um, yeah, I'm not familiar with the song. Thankfully, I had the captions on so I could lip sync along. Um, but just the, the premise of the song, the story, it's so... It's so sad. Like, it's one of those regretful songs, like, I let you go, and, you know, whatever this other person's doing, obviously it's working, they're doing their thing, and I don't know why I never realized how good you look when you're in love, and I wish that it was me who was giving you these feelings of love and whatnot. You know, just kind of, you know, a regretful kind of song. Um, again, I don't know if she's channeling anything for this, or if she's just being the amazing Kelly Clarkson storyteller that she is, um, but it was another fantastic storytelling, another fantastic vocal. Um, again, things just felt natural and easy when she belted. It felt like a natural extension of things that she was already doing. When she flipped into head voice, it just felt like a genuine, you know, that's where the story took her spirit and where it was supposed to go. Um, and yeah, just another another beautiful vocal. Um, we know her voice suits country music well, and this is just another example where she just sounds amazing. And it's it gave me very kind of old school country, Patsy Cline kind of um, vibes in a way. Um, I remember when she was on Idol, I think when she sang Don't Play That Song For Me, I think that was the performance where Simon said that she had like this sort of old school Patsy Cline kind of charm to her. Um, and yeah, this was just one of those performances where I feel like that was highlighted. Um, it just felt very much in the realm of that old, olden day kind of country where it's just very easy, kind of loungy in a way, and just vocal storytelling and just, mm, 
it's very it, it, it the whole it gave me all kinds of Patsy Cline vibes which I adore because I adore Patsy Cline uh, but yeah another great performance all right so next we've got one of the saddest songs in the history of ever um, so it is Miss Kelly covering Sinead O'Connor's Nothing Compares to You so let's let's, let's strap in and do this She is just smashing these out of the ballpark, like song after song after song, just so incredibly amazing, so incredibly emotive. Like I remember in the last karaoke reaction I did, maybe even the last two karaoke reactions that I did, and the reaction that I did to her singing Whole Lotta Woman at We Are Texas, I mentioned that while the vocals were fine, like there was something about her energy that just felt off. There's something about it that just, it didn't feel like the normal Kelly singing. Like the vocals were fine, the vocals were there, vocals weren't the problem, vocals weren't bad in any way, shape or form, but there was just like this energy that wasn't there. And like, there are certain things I mentioned that she does, like when she's singing and when she's emoting a song, like, you know, she'll close her eyes, she'll, she'll use her hands, she'll, there's all these just different things that she does normally when she's singing, when she's feeling the song that I was just missing from those performances that I watched in those particular reactions. Um, but here, this performance, she did all of those things. Like, she was, her hands were all up in this. She was eyes closed. She, she, like, it felt like the old Kelly performing. It felt like the old Kelly covering a song and giving me my life. Like, she didn't feel, the energy didn't feel off. She didn't feel like she was, you know, zoned out or anything like that. Like, it would, it just felt like the old Kelly that I'm used to seeing and she she just she was in it she was in it and again I don't know if she's channeling she's probably channeling something but she just felt in it she felt so present in the song here I just like I believed I I just believed I believed it I believed her in this song and it was just another stunning vocal like Every, every vocal that I've gotten so far has just been stunning. So I've got one more song. We're going to see if this is another stunning vocal too. Um, but it's her covering Drake's Hold On, We're Going Home. So let's, let's see what she does with it. I've got my eyes on you. Everything that I see, I want you. I love and emotion. Endlessly, I can't get over you. You left your mark on me. Come 
Come on, vocals. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm dead. I'm deceased. Oh, oh my God. That was everything. Everything. These vocals were everything. Everything. Like, I thought it was not gonna, like, I mean, yes, I felt like it was gonna impress me still, but I felt like it wasn't gonna take me to the same place that the other three had taken me, just because it was an upbeat song and she was doing it in the normal upbeatness. She didn't like, you know, completely flip it and make it a ballad like she did with um, White Flag. But that being said, like, I didn't need it to be turned into a ballad and I'm happy that she didn't because she just gave, she slayed my life. She slayed these vocals and just, ah, oh, ah, oh, so much was done in that little minute and a half. Like that, that was like a perfect American Idol performance right there. Like bitch would have won the whole comp again. She would have won the competition again with, you know, a performance like that. Like it's just amazing. Oh my God. So good. So, so good. Oh, this is, this is a hard week. Uh, for my ranking, um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so if I had to rank these from least favorite to favorite, and they're all amazing, so like I just, it's too hard for me to, um, but I'd probably say in fourth place, I would put You Look so good in love um mainly just because i'm not super familiar with the song i don't have to be familiar with the song to really like it because i really like the song but i just the other performances just screamed at me so much more like i just felt them so much more um then in third place <sighs> i don't know i feel like i've got a tie for third and second between Nothing Compares to You and Hold On, We're Going Home. I called it at the beginning, White Flag is my favorite and I still stand by that, but Nothing Compares to You and Hold On, We're Going Home are close second. Like it might almost be a three-way tie for first place, but I'll put White Flag just that little bit above them in first place and then a, a two-way tie between um, Nothing Compares to You and Hold On, We're Going Home. So I guess that puts um, You Look So Good in Love but in third place, but yeah. What a tough ranking this was, because they were all just so incredibly amazing in their own different ways. Some of them were emotionally amazing, some of them were just vocally amazing, and like, it just... She she did her thing this week. I mean, I, obviously all these didn't happen in the same week, that's just me reacting to them this week, but she did her thing this week, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Turn on notifications so you're notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments so I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. Um, if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.